Hey guys, so I'm wearing my headset because it's kind of loud. Uh, the neighbors are doing some, some stuff. <clears throat> it's kind of funny because my computer um, broke for a while. I used to have to wear the headset because the microphone for recording didn't work on my computer. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, Recently, you might have noticed that I stopped using the headset, and it's because my my computer started working again. I don't know how long it had been working, but um, <clears throat> I think I made a video about this where, you know, sometimes when you start doing things energetically um, in the realm of psychic work and energy work, things start kind of reacting to it and one thing is definitely my computer and it, it got weird and um, uh, this is a different story. I'll have to tell this story in a different video sometime. Um, but basically after I started my YouTube channel everything started getting weird and my computer like stopped working and so now I've been um, not using the headset because it started working again. However, I've been having, ever since I started my Patreon, I've been having weird phone problems now and I'll text people and they won't get the text message or I'll text, I texted, um, actually during the holiday season I was texting my mom and she says that she only got w one of the texts that I sent and I didn't get texts or sorry, I said it backwards. Um, I only received one of the texts that she sent to me, and I think some of the things I'm texting people are also not getting the, to them either. <clears throat> so, it's been problematic. So I'm getting a new phone. Anyways, that's, that's irrelevant. I want to talk about how um, herbs can enhance your awareness, whether that be developing psychic abilities, intuitive abilities, or just, you know, being more aware in general. <clears throat> um, I want to talk about Bacopa, which I'm actually drinking some tea. I made some tea here. You can see it's kind of dark. Um, so this is Bacopa. For the sake of the video, I thought I'd show what it looks like too. This is it in the bag. This is, um, it's also called Brahmi um, as well sometimes. And it's specifically known to be good for um, like stomach ulcers and helping with digestion, but I think what it's more popularly known for is its ability to enhance your memory. And so people take it or they take uh, extracts of it in powder form. I just prefer the tea because it's way cheaper. You can just drink it all the time if you don't mind the slightly bitter flavor to it. Um, and it's, it's just a better deal that way, and it's just how it's been traditionally used in Ayurveda for thousands of years as um, not just a memory enhancer, but it also has a lot of effects on the like third eye and the upper part of the aura. So what I was noticing um, is it's very grounding to the you know, third eye sixth chakra, seventh chakra, um, specifically. And it's funny because I made a different video before about an herbal formula that I make, and I can post that below this video actually. And that is like very grounding, but it's so, but it's more grounding towards like the bottom part of the aura, whereas this is very grounding towards the upper half of the aura. It's the Bacopa that is. So I just noticed that today and I thought that was interesting. Another thing I thought I'd talk about <clears throat> is um, Nasya oil. I'll, um, I'll put the spelling below 
this um, video so that you can see what, what, it's, what it's called. But it's just like this dropper, and it's kind of weird, but you, you drop this medicated oil in your nose. And the way you do it is you want to be laying on your back and with your head going off the side of the bed or couch or whatever you're laying on and have your head tilted backwards so that you can put it in your nostrils with it going straight down and you want to lay there and go like this and then when you do it in your other nostril go like that and like breathe in your nostril and then breathe out your mouth and do that like a couple times just to get it in there some people recommend three drops some people recommend five drops I usually just do a, I do a, a very heavy dose. It's probably more than both of those, but I just kind of go like, and there's a bubble in it, but something yeah there it popped something about like right there, which is a pretty good amount. You might want to start off with something more like like that uh, in each nostril. Um, and that's still a pretty heavy dose. And what this stuff is for is for, well, in Ayurveda, they use it for lots of things. But the reason why I'm interested in it is because, well, it has calamus in it, as well as it also has brahmi, which is what I was just talking about, bacopa. But calamus is also um, used for the brain and... Um, has a lot of benefits for kind of like waking up the, the brain um, or the third eye, um, you could say as well. <clears throat> Just the, um, it's kind of hard to describe it because it's in Ayurvedic terms, but it's very like warming and enlivening to the sixth chakra which is your third eye specifically um and so i like to do this to do a little bit of that and then meditate and that's a good way to really kind of feel more relaxed and if you're you know if your life is kind of hectic and you're not really feeling very grounded and it doesn't feel like you can meditate very well that's something that may help um, some people recommend taking a salt bath um, or you could use magnesium salt, magnesium. Um, that's usually when you go to the store and you buy mag salt for, for a bath. It's usually magnesium salt. <clears throat> and magnesium is really good because it, well, your body needs it, and a lot of people are deficient in it. So it, it helps actually relax your muscles a little bit so that it's just easier to meditate and things like that. So that's another thing. So today I actually woke up. I took a salt bath and then I put on um, well, Maha Narayan oil, which is a type of oil infused with like tons of different herbs and just like rubbed it on my skin until it kind of just like went away and it's not really like sticking too much. And then I did nausea, which I'm showing here, and drops in the nose. And then I drank my. Um, well, the, the combination of uh, reishi, it's a tea I make with reishi, hoshu wu, um, uh, ramania, and buplerum. And that's very grounding in one way, and I immediately felt different. I was like, whoa, you know, something changed. And then I drank the pacopa tea right here which also then had a slightly different effect. And I was just noticing how all these things have different effects on me. And I've definitely been kind of overworking myself, so I really needed the, a day to just recover. So that's what I've been doing today to help energize, re-energize, well, maybe not energize, but you know, rest, I guess you could say. And I did a good like hour and a half long meditation, so feeling pretty good now. So anyways, the Bacopa, if you're interested in a tea or herbal supplement of some sort to really kind of 
help you focus or meditate or be more clear, I'd recommend the Bacopa. Actually, um, I also want to add that I find Bacopa to be really good for just enhancing clarity. Uh, just like having like a clean perception of things. If you feel kind of confused and like you, you know, don't really know what to believe or you don't really necessarily believe in yourself or whatever, uh, Bacopa can help with that. Um, I think that's all that I was going to say for this video. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it with that. Uh, I'll put below this video the herbs, how they're spelled, so that you can look them up for yourself if you want, and the links to the other videos where I talk about the herbal combinations that I, that I use to make a, my special tea that I call my grounding tea, as well as there's another video I made about herbs for third eye, psychic abilities, enlightenment, etc. So I'll link that video below this video as well. So check that out. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching this video and have a great day.